Hey guys, how's it going? So I hope you and your family are safe and uh, we hope and we pray that uh, this situation gets better sooner. And here in Japan as well, uh, they have declared emergency like uh, most other countries. But here in Japan, it is quite different as in it is more laid back and uh, most of the restaurants are open except for a few theaters and malls. So this video is going to be more of a vlog where I can show you guys how it is to spend a day in Tokyo amidst the lockdown. So let's get into it. I usually start my day with an hour of workout, mostly in the gym and occasional outdoor runs. But uh, due to the COVID situation, all the gyms and recreation centers are closed, so we came for a run. I have to tell you, morning runs are always a great start. It's all cherry blossoms out here and it turns the entire city pink and white. But sadly, it's coming to an end now. I prefer to run along the Sumida River, catching a glimpse of the Tokyo Sky Tree, which is quite close to my place. Man, the area is serene and a lovely place to jog. There are usually so many people jogging and walking the dogs, and uh, even amidst the emergency, there's still people around. It's just business as usual. Here's a fun fact the Tokyo Sky Tree is the tallest star in the world and the second tallest freestanding structure only next to the Burj Khalifa. It's one of the prime attractions in Tokyo and this houses a skywalk, an aquarium and numerous souvenir shops. One of the things that I always do is stare at the top of the sky tree when I'm running near it. Wow, it amazes me. Most of the restaurants are open but with restricted operational hours up to 8 p.m. The place to the left is one beautiful Mexican restaurant. There's so many stay home advisories all around. Whew, that was a good jog. So a quick visit to the Central Life supermarket to buy a few essentials. It's fully stocked and so are all the other supermarkets. There's no need to hoard or stock supplies. Yeah, I'm talking to those who bought tons of toilet paper. But face masks are still hard to find as it sells off instantly. Made myself a quick breakfast and my version of protein shake. Yummy! We got ready and headed out to Hiru and Akihabara. Bright sunny day. Thank god it's not raining. Have to change three trains to reach Hiru and I guess it would take around an hour. The drug stores are operational as usual, so I guess it is as per the emergency rules that it has to be open. The crowd on the train is very less and people are maintaining social distancing here as well, which is very good to see. Well, this was a small two car train and has only five stops. So let's check out the other train to see if those are crowded or not. This is the Chuo Sobu line and uh, usually is jam packed, but today it is complete opposite. We just got off Akiwara and this is the first time I'm seeing this place without crowd. And this is a famous electronic uh, town of Tokyo and I'll show you around this later in the day, but uh, now off to Hibiya line. Now on to Hibiya line, headed to Hiru. So the trend continues with less people using public transport. Hiru is still as busy as it gets, the road traffic is still normal and there are so many people around. One of the best things about the Japanese is the habit of wearing masks. Maybe that is why the spread of COVID is much lesser than expected. The one thing that I never miss to do in Hiru is to visit this beautiful, amazing pizza shop. It's a New York style pizza slice chain which is found all around in Tokyo. Since it was less crowded, I decided to dine in instead of a takeout. They have around 5 to 6 varieties and we are almost regulars here. Yay, my order is ready and my mouth is already watering.
now even if it is irresistible for me to dig in i have to sanitize my hand first now come to papa ah the tokyo olympics sad it is not happening this year sad but essential and a necessary step to postpone it it's going to take forever for them to remove these as there are so many flyers around so I'm back in akebara and the british pub is closed till next month this is one of the most famous pubs all around tokyo and uh, this is always popular among the expats the famous yodoboshi camera also looks to be deserted as it usually is bustling with crowd this is one of the best electronic shops and you can get almost everything that you're looking for here looks like all the shops have cut down their operational hours it's around 8 pm right now all the sega stores pashinko arcades have reduced their operational hours guess they close around 7 or 8 pm never seen a kebara like this in all the months that i've been here in tokyo some of the essentials like laundromats grocery shops are all open which is actually quite good and the 711 lawson and family mart are all open let me grab some snacks before i head back home Paying via Suica is awesome. It's almost accepted everywhere, even for a train pass. Better use that instead of cash, avoiding chances of COVID spread. You know. We are almost near our home, and the view of the sky tree is quite amazing with the lights. They had the Olympic countdown displayed in the sky tree before it was postponed, and now it says, "Together we will all win." I hope. and truly believe that we will succeed over this pandemic and get back to our normal lives if you have made it so far with this video thank you so much i am heading home and i'm going to netflix and chill right now it would be great if you could subscribe and like the video i hope the video made sense and was informative to you guys so 